Hello everyone, this is me, Sakya here, and I'm taking your remaining month of July reading, start from the 22nd through the 31st of July, 2021. This reading is going to be for the sign of uh, Virgo, so let's see what is coming for you guys for the remaining month of time. I will be adding Virgo cards in this reading, but no charms will be added, so stay tuned, and now while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you, it's a general reading, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there, so always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest for personal reads. You can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So let's see what is coming up for you guys for the remaining month of time. Virgos. Let's see what the Virgos can expect coming up for you for the remaining month of time. Let's give it one last shuffle and then we are ready to go. Let's begin. Three of Pentacles. Um, a lot of gossiping is happening about you, about uh, the one that you are with. Um, try not to let the gossip get the best of you or the connection that you have with the, with the person. Try to avoid telling your secrets to the people that you are maybe close to because they might not be having positive intention for you and for the connection. Try avoiding talking about your love life with them. For others of you, it can be a situation that you need to kind of, you know, keep things to yourself when it comes to your work scenarios as well. Try to avoid letting people know your secrets as much as you can. Let's see more cards. Uh, temperance. Um, the only reason why I say so is uh, the you might you might have some delays because of that, because of the ill intention of other people around you. So if you think you are protected, if you believe you are protected, and if you believe your connection is protected, that's perfectly fine. But if you already have some issues with your person, this you sharing your secret sound is further gonna lower your vibration and lower the vibration of the connection and lower the pace of your connection. The way things are heading forward is gonna go even slow. Why? Because of the ill intention of the people around you. So make sure that you don't share your secrets, your love life, your work life scenarios with the people because it's just gonna, um, you will be affected by their ill intention and maybe jealousy, envious energy because of them. So try not to let that happen. Uh, let's see more cards here. Six of Cups, Knight of Swords. Plus, there is a one more chance. Uh, maybe the person, the, the people that you are sharing your secrets to, they might try to um, spoil your connection with the one that you are, you know, uh, with. It's um. They might tell you, you know, maybe they they might corrupt your mind as well around them. So it's it's again, if this happens, like you know, if you share your secret out with someone and they kind of you know, uh, bog you down telling you negative stories around it, corrupt your mind, try not to listen to them. In fact, try to kick them out of your life. Put an end to the situation there and then. Sh give them a shot of call because that's going to be very important. Otherwise, what you're going to do is let them influence your love life the wrong way. So it's very important for you to cut off some people um, out of your life because it's they are adding nothing good but negativity in your love life with your people, with your person. So try not to let that happen. They might trigger your negative emotions and then you're going to pick up some fights with your person. So it's again going to add negativity to your love life. Try avoiding that. Let's see more cards. Three fonts. The hangman. Yes, like I said, it's just going to further delay your situation with your person. So try to avoid that. Um, but I feel like, you know, it's the... For majority of you, you are going to let yourself and your connection influence because of the other people. And it's, it's just going to um, make you feel bad later on. Let's see one last card here. Yes. <sighs> you will be disappointed. It's more like, you know, because of other people and the way they pump you, push you, um, you are going to pick up some argument and fight with your person, which is again gonna go against you. Nothing bad will happen to you, you know, the people. It's just like they are just gonna, you know, trigger you and your negative emotion, and then gonna watch you fight with your person. So don't let that happen. Try to avoid that, 
and uh, try to stay strong, um, try to stay stable in terms of uh, even if you have to wait for your person or the situations to evolve with your person, try not to let your fears get the best of that situation because of your people around you who have negative intentions or uh, they are going to get happy seeing you, uh, they are going to uh, get happy seeing you sad and upset. So just know that even if you believe that they are your best friends, they don't have best intentions for you. So be mindful of that and don't let them impact uh, your relationship with your specific someone the wrong way. It can be your family as well. It can be their family as well if the energies are reversed. But yes, I do see some sort of negative influence come again, but again, try not to let that affect you or corrupt your mind. Let's see the other messages. A new start is coming, but since this card came out reverse, maybe the energies might get slow. Uh, plus, maybe it's just gonna not happen again, especially if you listen to other people and you disappoint yourself and your person because you listen to them. So again, try avoiding that. Nothing will come out of the situation. Ooh, there you go. You can have a new start coming in, but if you listen to them, trust me, nothing will come out of that situation. Uh, what do you need to release? Release those negative people out of your life. It's very important for you. If you fail to understand that, you know, you, you might take them as your best friends or your buddies or your family and stuff, but yes, you have to stand tall for what you believe in. You have to stand tall for your love. You cannot let them corrupt your mind. Let's see more cards here. Gratitude. Be grateful for having the person that you love rather than, you know, uh, listening to what they have to corrupt your mind with. Enlightenment. If you feel that, you know, they might be right around your person, maybe you need and seek guidance from the heavens. You will be getting the guidance around it and you will be uh, you know, if you seek help from divine, you will be you will be kind of you know getting signs that yes, you are on the right path through different means. So if you think you are corrupted already and you need the clarity, maybe seek clarity and you will get that clarity around your person. So again, you have to release the negativity, uh, which might be kind of uh, um, coming from other people towards you, towards the connection that you have with your person. So try to release those negative people around you and their negativity as well. So let's see one last card. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Again, try to plan to spend some time together with your person. Try not to let your people who have not so positive intention for you and for the connection affect you the wrong way. So yeah, uh, maybe you can you can Take some time out, spend that time with your person, avoiding the rest of the world, and yes, enjoy that time together. So you stay away from any bullshit that might be coming from uh, other people towards the connection, towards the um, towards you or towards them. So yeah, some time apart would be uh, you know from the rest of the world is going to be good for the connection. So yeah, this pretty much comes up for you for the remaining month time. If the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe, and share. If you're willing to get a personal read, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you guys, take care. Bye-bye.